What is going on guys? My name is Coaster Planet here and today I'll be talking about why are they announcing the 2018 roller coasters now? So, why are they doing it? Well, we're going to find out right now. So, they listed a few of their coasters at roller coaster database. So, they have a few that has already names. So, there's some going to China, some going to Asia, some parks, some a few in Europe, and probably some one in the UK. So, we can expect them to be built. They, sh they should start construction probably at the end of this year. So, we're probably going to see construction by the winter time or possibly in the fall. So, uh, let's get to it and find out why are they adding these attractions so or excuse me roller coasters so we're gonna go through and we're gonna read off our list so our next one we'll be seeing is the electric eel coming to SeaWorld San Diego in 2018 so it is a skyrocket 2 coaster and it's gonna be built by Premier Rides and of course you know this it only has one inversion and why are they putting this well my only guess is they're doing this because of the Ocean Explorer expansion. They're they're putting it in part of the Ocean Explorer. So they're making a new land area so that way the guests will come in the park and at least SeaWorld San Diego will make more money like that. So they're adding this just because they want to improve the Ocean Explorer area. So that is why they're announcing this roller coaster. The next roller coaster they're adding, they're announcing, they they announced is the roller coaster in Sweden. So this is a park in uh, what was that in Europe? So uh, this is a B&M dive coaster which has no inversions. I've read in. I've read in that uh, RCDB and there's said there's no inversions. Anyways, why are they doing this? They're doing this part of the with the lock, the lock I mean, and everything else. They're doing this so they can uh, they can do some improvements to the Balder area. Uh, that one hasn't been touched yet, so they're doing this to improve the park so that way the GP will come in. So that's why they're announcing this roller coaster. The next roller coaster to talk about is in the UK. So this is Construction 18 going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in 2018, which is next year. So uh, this is gonna be built by built by Mac. Too bad Intamin didn't get to build this. Could have been better if Intamin built it, but it's still a good coaster. Uh, good launch coaster, very uh, kind of long. Um, th uh, two inversions though. Correct me if I'm wrong. Two or three. Uh, I'm I'm not quite sure why they're doing uh, why they're doing this or building this, but whatever it is, it's a good coaster and I like it. I like how it interacts with the terrain and everything. It looks just good. I like the color scheme by the way. It's similar to. Cheetah Hunt at Bush Gardens Tampa it looks cool. It looks cool. Uh, I like how it goes in and out the, the through the coaster and goes back and forth. I just love how they designed this ride. It's a multi launch coaster built by Mac, by the way. Uh, next coaster we'll talk about is a park in at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is in Florida. So this is a roller coaster that has been announced for a while but pushed back to 2018 uh pushed to 2018 sorry So this is Slinky Dog a uh, steel family coaster um uh, we don't really know much of the stats we don't know what manufacturer will it be built by uh we're not sure what kind of elements they they're going to be but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a helix, a chain lift, and I don't know else. But why are they doing this? Because they're doing this part of a new land.
land e land expansion, which is the Toy Story Land. So they're calling it Toy Story Land. So they're calling it Slinky Dog because in the movie Toy Story, there is a character named Slinky Dog, and he's a very nice character. Uh, although I don't know why they decided to make this as a roller coaster. Maybe to make maybe to make the kids enjoy maybe the family to enjoy maybe the parents and kids or they just want to interact um they just want to attract more uh guests so that the park can also make money this is uh ba by the way it's in florida so nowhere near no nowhere in california so this is a far away park so i'm not from here the next coaster roller coaster that uh, that has been announced is not announced, but it has been rumored. So my guess that this coaster will be done by next year, which is 2018. Uh, this is RMC Mean Streak. It's the hype, guys. Just hype. Just do the hype. This is gonna be a great roller coaster. So hype. Do uh hype. Type in hype if you want. To ride this roller coaster because this will be one of the best coasters out there so it's a hype uh, 2018 is either um, it's most likely to be uh, built but uh, it looks like 2019 because they might push it back like what they did to Falcon's Fury but this is this would be like the best ride ever and this is built by of course Rocky Mountain Construction uh, elements that the ride will have, we're not quite sure what exactly what they're gonna put in this RMC roller coaster. I don't know if they're gonna do inversions or just like similar to New Texas Giant without without inversions, but possibly we're not sure what kind of elements will this coaster have because this hasn't officially been this hasn't been officially announced yet so we don't have any details no stats hasn't been released yet so we haven't figured out anything about the coaster but we know the rumor has been spreading out still and it's pretty much confirmed that's all i can say so this is what everyone wants to see at the uh, at cedar point uh yeah this is uh, one of the coasters, but we're not sh quite sure what the name will exactly be. But I just put RMC Mean Street because we're, I'm not quite sure what the name will actually be called. So, yeah. And actually, the track isn't orange or orange slash red. The track will be like same same co similar color scheme to Valoraven with um, the same track. I mean, the I-beam track. This is going to be an iron horse, guys. And I think they're also steepening the lift hill, too, which is great. The drop probably will be bigger and taller, which is great. But, and then the last coaster I want to talk about in this video is another rumored roller coaster um, in the Cedar Fair chain. You guys already know it is the RMC Hurler. This has been rumored for a while now. So... I'm predicting 2018 because it's a lot of people have hyped about this coaster. So, the, of course, this will have the barrel roll first drop. So, it's going to be similar to Storm Chaser. Storm Chaser is also a great RMC roller coaster, what I've heard from other people. So, yeah, uh, of course, built by RMC, just a reminder. So, this is going to King's Dominion because they closed their hurler back in 2015 which is two years ago so if if this has been confirmed guys then you guys you guys will 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 hype so anyways yeah and we're not quite sure what the elements are except we know one uh it's gonna have the barrel down drop that's all we know but we're not quite sure what the rest will be or do so why are they adding this? Uh, not sure, but it's just part of the rumors, but we're not quite sure really why the park is um, going to decide to do this. But 
this is only my prediction probably next year we might be built or they might just tear it down we're not quite sure uh, nothing has officially been announced nothing has not been officially announced yet so we don't have any uh, details yet no stats hasn't been released yet so that is why uh, I put some question marks everywhere for these two roller coasters so yeah that will do for why they announced their 2018 roller coasters now so anyways guys hope you enjoyed remember to press the notification button the bell so that way you can see my feedback and uh, or you can see my views that I'm currently gonna uh, upload so yeah anyways guys that will do and I'll catch you guys next time